Can you see me okay? Do you need like more of you? No, I no. There's a there's a problem with your shirt though. If you could just I was taking selfies. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> cool. So I'll do a big intro thing, and we'll be we'll be good to go. Today is Wednesday, August 30th, and welcome to the Man Cave Podcast. My name is Jeff Schaefer, and I am joined by... What's happening, lady and mostly gentlemen here at the uh, Man Cave Podcast? It is your boy, the Healthy Movement, uh, and I am just... uh, You know what I'm doing, Jeff? I'm actually hoping that when I open this door after we finish recording that the Healthy Hound hasn't shit all over the house. I'm pretty sure that we actually have a uh, shit situation happening right now. So, guys... uh, Keep uh, keep here at the Man Cave Podcast for shit updates. <laughs> I, have some, I have a dog story myself, but we have a great we have a great podcast ahead here. We have a smoking hot guest this week. Blake Morgan is here, who just put out her first boy girl film on in the end of June. But she's been camming for a year, and she's smoking hot. You guys are gonna love that. She looks great in the interview. She sounds great. And uh, we're pretty much best friends now. So thanks for coming here. If this is your first time to the show, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Man Cave Podcast. And you can follow Sean at The Healthy Movement, and that's movement with no vowels. Check out the website, themancavepodcast.com, for all the shows you may have missed. How you been, buddy? What's new and exciting? Well, man, I've been uh, hanging out here. It seems like uh, it's been forever, really. It's only been a week, though. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I don't know. A lot has, uh, has happened. You know, I've, uh, I've kind of... I talked to some wrestling talent. Uh, I've got some interviews in the can for uh, for a future MCCW episodes. And, you know, I've been uh, I've been busy, brother. You know, got uh, got some new uh, things coming on the MCCW uh, or the um, MCP crawl for the uh, MCP TV, the video that we're uh, putting out here that you guys can check out. We got the YouTube channel. You can check us out on Facebook. We're, we're pretty much like, uh, I guess, we're the princes of all media at this point. Right? <laughs> we are. All that great stuff, and I still spent the last half hour of my life picking up dog puke. That is really the glamour of (laughs) being a podcast host. That'll keep you uh, humble. It's very humble. He's been sick. I have a Jack Russell. His name is Woody. He's 13. He's been sick. He gets like this doggy vertigo. They call it vestibular disease. I don't know. And so he gets like super dizzy and nauseous, which is a great combination for a Jack Russell terrier. (laughs) So he's miserable, and he's been getting better. But like today he threw up, and it looked like he was just like sprinting and throwing up rice throughout the house like it was just <laughs> a stream of rice yellow rice which it wasn't yellow rice when i gave it to him it was white rice but with all the good stuff it's been a great 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 little uh tuesday night here we have here at the man cave i hope yours has been better bud reminds me of a uh, a date i had uh, back in my 20s uh, you know those dating those young chicks that get a little dizzy themselves and a little nauseous and it's uh and it's rarely a good combo usually the interior of your car is gonna uh, gonna pay it's yellow close. stuff everywhere you're into some weird shit bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever it's still a shower right it's, still- <laughs> it's uh we have a high this week the next three days our high is 72 degrees up here in new york can you fucking believe how fast summer ends around here it's ridiculous I mean, talk about it. Uh, and did I hear that, you know, the, the traditional marker of, uh, of, of and the ending of summer for me is when Jeff Schaefer gets back into comedy. And I know that that's coming up, so it must mean that uh, fall is coming. It is. It's true. Uh, we have a show coming up Thursday. If you're in Southampton, New York, tweet me about that. If you're on Long Island, I'll be at Governor's Comedy Club in Bohemia Friday night, September 15th, uh, the 10 o'clock show. Uh, that's a really big one. So if you're in Long Island, check it out. Um, getting back into the comedy scene. Sean, could you write me 15 minutes of jokes? That'd be great. Um, <laughs> do they... Yeah, does your audience like Laffy Taffy? It's pretty much going to eat a bunch of candy and have one-liners. That's not going to work, I don't think. That's not going to work. You know what? You know what's funny to me, though? I'll tell you what's funny to me. Is Matt Stafford being the highest-paid quarterback in the NFL? Can you believe Fatty Matty? Mrs. Man Cave calls him Fatty Matty. That's what how we feel about Matt Stafford at the Man Cave House. Whoa, whoa, easy up, man! That dude is first team all bro for sure. I mean, he is. Uh, if that's a bro, he's definitely he's bro for sure. Um, I, I I don't know about getting paid for like performing. I mean, I don't I don't know if that, but I think they're going on like bro level here. Like, man, this dude is so fucking chill that. We just got to give him a bunch of money. And, and, you know, the truth of the matter is they're just giving him some of Calvin Johnson's money anyway. So you know, it's, they had some to spare. You've changed my whole idea for going with this. I was going to go through this list of quarterbacks and say who's better than Matt Stafford. But who has time to list 27 quarterbacks? So oh. <laughs> instead, let's go through the list. 
and figure out who's more of a bro than Matthew Stafford. <laughs> uh, um, uh, I, he's, that, that guy's first team. So, I mean, if we're putting together more of a bro list. What's, than... what's your criteria for Matt Stafford being a bro? I mean, what is what is where do you put this together? He's childhood friends with Clayton Kershaw. I learned that. That also works. I mean, Clayton Kershaw is pretty, uh, pretty uh, awesome. But I, Clayton Kershaw is not quite bro. He's pretty, pretty like nerd bro. So he's kind of that crossover hybrid. Um, Matt Stafford is pure bro. Matt Stafford slayed in college at uh, UGA, legendary slayage. So um, huge right there. I mean, already that's that's big, uh, big points. And then he goes with the backward hat look, which. Mm. Wears really well, and that's mandatory. If you're going to be like uh, anywhere near a bro status, you got to go uh, with a clean backward hat look. None of the the it's only fitted hats too. He only wears oh, the. God, yeah. He's not one of those J Brones that does like the you know the open here and you get like the hair <laughs> out. What fuck is that? I I, so, I, I I do the backwards hat. A lot of reasons. I like it. Um, Tony Romo inspired me, and um, you know we don't have to pretend we don't notice what's going on up here. If you put a hat on it, you can just. <laughs> You know, Tony, Tony Romo's also definitely definite bro status. He and Matt Stafford could uh, be one and two right there uh, for sure. And I, I don't know who else are we? Uh, who, who else could we put on the the bro team? So they're in alphabetical order here. I pulled up a list of starters for last year, and I'll have to make some adjustments going to this year. So you tell me. We'll are they bro. asked bro or not? Or what? We'll say bro or not a bro. All right. All right. Cool. The first, like. first one I'm going bro, and we'll we'll try to get through. Is Carson Palmer? I think is a bro. Bro. He's like a dad bro though, because he's like forty now. Yeah, I mean he's get yeah he's kind of getting up there, but still bro, still bro, still bro. Uh, more of a bro than Matt Stafford? Mm, no, no. Okay. Uh, Matt Ryan, nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight nerd, straight. no bro. Joe Flacco, um, <laughs> Joe Flacco. What do you got? Not a bro. Definitely not a bro, right? F- fuck no. What fuck if, no. What if he was Joe Flack bro? <laughs> oh, oh Flack bro, dude. Write that down. Then you need fourteen minutes and thirty seconds worth of jokes. <laughs> We'll have to chug down some bro hitos and talk about Joe Flack, bro. <laughs> it's talk bros. This is crazy. I love where this segment's going. Uh, <laughs> Tyrod Taylor, not a bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Nope. Passing nope. on. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. Is Cam Newton a bro? Yeah. Yeah. Cam, Newton's, he, a bro. Cam Newton, Newton's a bro. Also a backward hat. Well, he wears a lot of fancy outfits, so I don't see. We'll, we'll give him a. Well, yeah, shirts like you're wearing. <laughs> So oh, oh, I'm doing the whole thing. That's right. You have the gimmick going, dude. I can't have the gimmick. Definitely a bro. Sure. Just because his dress is funny and he wears them funny hats. I mean, that's cool. I'd go uh like Julian Edelman is a is a bro too, but he wears oh. funny. So okay. I mean All right, okay, so he's a bro. So the Bears, Mike Glennon is not a bro. <laughs> uh, uh, Trubisky, bro. Trubisky's sort of. a bro. Trubisky, Trubisky's Tr- a bro. Trubrowski? <laughs> Trubrowski. <laughs> nice. You're slaying. Andy Dalton, redhead, ginger bro. Yeah, he's a ginger bro. For Backwards sure. hat. Yeah, he's yeah, on the list. Bro, man. He's a bro. Uh, so Cleveland Browns, uh, Kaiser from Notre Dame, not a bro. Kind well, we don't even know who their quarterback really is. <laughs> it says Robert Griffin III on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So, good. Yeah, they're right with it. <laughs> okay, good. That's good. Let's get there. Dak Prescott, bro. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go, bro. Bro, bro, bro him, yeah. Uh, Trevor Simeon, who fucking knows? <laughs> to be continued. From right down the road, too. Guys from like 20 miles from here, and I couldn't tell you shit about him. So uh, next. If it, if it was Paxton Lynch, he's like that guy who really wants to be a bro, but isn't really a bro. He's trying. He's too tall. Too tall. Right. Uh, Stafford. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers is a bro. Bro. Hardcore bro. Aaron Brogers? No, it's not working. So... <laughs> He might be more of a bro than Stafford. That's a toss-up. That's that's pretty close because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he bangs hot chicks too. That's a that that's a you know that's a, a huge criteria. You have to. You can't be like uh, hitting the, the oh you can be hitting some skags, but you got to be you got to be uh, high quality as well. Just knock out some of these hood rats real quick. <laughs> hey, you know it's a Tuesday night, bro. Tuesday. He's a Tuesday night, bro. Um. So and uh and he's kind of a dick. So Aaron Rodgers might be more of a bro than Matt Stafford, but. Okay. Tom Savage? Mm. I, I don't know. I, I, I nothing on Tom. Savage. great last name, but no idea. Uh, <laughs> Blake Brodels. 
saw that coming. It's just it's rough, but but um, it's about as rough as his passing game right now. Truthfully, um, I'm embarrassed that that happened. <laughs> and you're doing comedy, huh? All right, it's good. Oh, it amuses me. So I, uh, he's a backup bro because he's about to lose his job. <laughs> Ch- Chad Henney. Chad Henney, your prospect is a Jaguar. Looking great this year, folks. Trust the process. Trust the process. I had a moment. I was watching the Jaguars preseason because I'm a, <laughs> that's so how awesome my Saturdays are. And um, it's like uh, Chad Henney comes to the game, a 10-year veteran. I'm like, good for Chad Henney for being in the NFL for 10 years. Yeah. And yeah, not he's... being good once. <laughs> no, and now here he is going to start. So right. this is incredible for him. Alex Smith, not a bro. I gotta, yeah, I gotta go. No, bro, really. There, no. Anybody who averages four yards a pass is not a bro. <laughs> small. Bro. Jared Goff. I don't know. His hands are too small. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's the he's the quarterback of the L.A. Rams. So if he's not a bro, I mean that almost lifts him to bro status. And he went to Cal. He's probably a bro. Yeah. He's probably a bro. How about Sam Broford? <laughs> <laughs> That joke is bro, hit, but uh, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a bro. He's from the bro tribe, actually. Um, mm. Definitely, definitely a bro. Um, Miami Dolphins, Jay Cutler. <clears throat> he's a he's a bro. He yeah. wears the backwards hat all the time. Yeah, I mean, he's fitting a lot of the criteria. He's got great hair. Yeah, doesn't give a shit about his job. <laughs> Just don't you stop. You've been watching me on Twitter, haven't you? Stop it. He blocked one of my accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Brees, not a bro. Drew Brees, it's like a nerd bro. So mm, not quite. Yeah. No. Um, okay, Tom Brody. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it. Hey, come on. Who who out there had that before Jeff said it? Come on. You can tweet us at Man K Podcast at Healthy MD Um No, uh, big no, nerd. Tom Brody's not a bro. I'm not a, you can't consider him. No. no. Eli Manning, not a bro. So not a bro. He's the least bro person on this list. <laughs> He's got Down syndrome. <laughs> He's a little brotistic. <laughs> you know, this is someone's first time ever listening to this show, and they're like, what the fuck are these two assholes doing? Hey, play, this is a good time to tell them to subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes. That shit really helps us out. <laughs> Um, Jets starting quarterback, um, oh. <laughs> Josh McNown. I don't know. Not a bro. Bryce Petty is a bro. Bryce, Bryce is a bro. Um, in brogue. <laughs> that's, 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 Bro-ish. Um, uh, uh, David Carr, David Carr. I, I don't know. Do, um, oh, no. Mac, so they have Matt McGloin. I don't know what this fucking wrist is. <laughs> Matt McGloin is the Raiders starting quarterback. Carr. Uh, David Carr. Uh, he's a bro. He's a bro. I like it. No, he's definitely a bro, yeah. Bro. Carson Wentz, bro. Bro, yeah. Bro. Uh, here's the winner of the bro contest. Yeah, we found it. And it's not a dumb name. I can't I can't get it out of my mouth. But uh, Ben Roethlisberger is the biggest bro in the history of bros. Kind of out of shape. <laughs> Backwards hat. Raping bitches. <laughs> Raping bitches is a category. Got, got to have that in there. <laughs> oh, Ben Rothless Broger. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely a a hard. He's he's he's. I mean, yeah, he's stepping on Matt Stafford to get to the top. I think he's the top. Uh, Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Kaepernick is on his fucking list. <laughs> Never gonna play football again. You know who's the least bro person? This is Russell Wilson. He's he's also not a bro. Um, he's he he and Joe Flacco could have not bro parties. <laughs> Joe who? Joe Joe Flack bro. Sorry. <laughs> Philip Rivers. Um, hmm, not he's a bro. Like kids, so I I don't know. What <laughs> he's he's tall. He's a douche. So I wanted to make him a bro, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, what? All right. Jameis Winston. Bro. Bro, I like Jameis. I've been watching Hard Knocks, by the way. Jameis is great. Yeah, he's awesome, right? He's 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 the man. He's really uh, really really love me some Jameis around. He's a leader. He's everything you'd want. I'm really impressed with him. Yeah, you know, some silly interceptions along the way, but I, I like uh, I like him. Okay. Um, Marcus Broyota? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is what? 
Marcus Mariota. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, yeah, he's from Hawaii and still can't get in the bro category. That's that's pretty rough. And the last one on this list, definitely a bro, uh, Kirk Cousins. Oh, you like that. I mean, he's a bro. <laughs> you like that? You like that? God. He's a, you don't like him? Well, if, if he's a bro, he's like, he's from the opposite side. I'm not going to drink from the bro cooler around him. I, we're not. We're not compatible, me and Kurt. I love uh, bro things. Like, I love making bro a, a verb. <laughs> so, or, or someone's name, uh, Tom Brody, uh, Joe Flack bro. <laughs> this stuff makes me happy. Tweet us your favorite bro thing, at Man Cave Podcast, at The Healthy Movement. This has gotten a, a little little silly, and I enjoyed every goddamn minute of it. Uh, later in the show, we do have Blake Morgan on the show. Um, to get to break up the silliness with a really hot chick. We're looking forward to that. Uh, we tend to end each show with a little something we call Man Cave Championship Wrestling, which is the only wrestling fiction on the internet. Um, and Sean is, yeah, yeah, look at that. doing Give himself a little bee jibber there on that one. <laughs> a BJ? No. There's, there's no hedgehog action going on here. Saw that. Uh, did you watch the damn boxing match? The damn. No, no, I didn't. I'm $100 richer for it. <laughs> you are. I, I hijacked it from a buddy's house, so I didn't oh. pay for it either. Nice. Well, that's. I mean, if you're gonna watch it, I hate. Uh, I hate to do that. I guess, but um, that's the way to do it. Because you know, a, a, um, it was good. It was, of course, it was good. Of course, it was. Those guys know what they're doing. You think they're it gr- was fixed? Now, you think it was a, a a work? I I definitely. There's a. There's more than half of me that thinks it was a work, without a doubt. Yeah, I I think that those two guys are so very savvy. I mean, you can say what you want about Floyd, but the guys made a lot of money. He's obviously pretty money savvy, and uh, and Con- Connor is obviously super slick. Uh, you know, slicker than X-Lax turds. But uh, you know, that's um, write that down. Uh, I I didn't. Um, I wasn't gonna stay up that late. Man, I'm not paying a hundred dollars if I'm not with a hooker and have a bag of cocaine. I'm not staying up till two in the morning. So you know that that fight had me already priced out. It had me uh, timed out. So. You know, I, I I watched on Twitter in the morning. There you go. I, I don't think it was fixed. I think Floyd Mayweather was so much better than Conor McGregor. He won the fight exactly when he wanted to, exactly how he wanted to. I don't think Conor could have done anything to stop him. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, he's, he's the best boxer in the world. So that, uh, that certainly is plausible. You listen to him talk like for the first three rounds, you're like, oh, my God, McGregor's got a shot. He's landing some punches. And then you realize he wasn't really hitting him hard. He was just kind of there. And then as soon as Floyd wanted to win, he realized 25 minutes into it, he's going to get tired because he's never gone that long before. And he just won the fight. And the last minute was the McGregor people like, oh, they should have let him hit the mat. They should have let him fall. Like, listen, he was done. I don't Did you see the last minute. He was done. Yeah, of course. That's the thing that they play on, uh, you know, the free TV for us, uh, please. And so I did see that, and if, I, yeah, he he was done. I I if I were fighting, please stop it. If I get to that point, because the lights are on, nobody's home, man. The shades are drawn. That dude was uh, he was gone. If he hit the mat, he's not getting back up uh, for a hot minute. You, you're gonna have some pretty pretty nasty TV and some wait time. Like what's going on with that guy? Why didn't they? Well, how come they let him get that far? <laughs> right. Well, they just stopped it, so he didn't get that far. I think uh, you're totally right. Um, yeah, I think actually I'm I'm pretty in line with uh, with what you're saying. I mean, it's um, that that's the 40 percent is like you know Floyd Mayweather had this thing in hand. He obviously knew it. He was confident. Um, you know, he does a lot of back talking, but it's it's plausible bullshit. And the guy's you know he's 49 and 0, 50 and 0. If you if you're count, a lot of people, oh, we're not going to count this one because he took a uh, you know a meatball, but he's 50 and 0 in the books. So right. there's a reason for that, right? Like I mean, as much as I like it, this trash talking Conor McGregor, the WWE style, Floyd Mayweather is obviously a boxer. So. Right. The only thing that had me <clears throat> giving Connor a chance was like, hey, when you're 40 and you haven't done something in two years, you don't uh, you don't realize you're not as good as you used to be until someone proves it to you. And, uh, you know, like you watch look at Peyton Manning's last year in the NFL. Suddenly, Oops. out of nowhere, he was no good at the thing he'd been good at forever. The year before, very good. The last year, you just catch up and you just out of nowhere, not good. And that could have happened to Floyd. And boxing people are saying Floyd didn't look great um, and that if he had fought like Triple G or some other boxer I've never heard of, he would have lost. <laughs> but I'm not a boxing guy. I used to box when I was younger. That was fun. So oh, nice. Yeah. Well, if you've got, you're the expert. You've got the, uh, the you know, it's, uh, uh, Jeffrey Atlas over there. So, uh, <laughs> you know, he didn't have to look good. The guy knew it. He knew he was coming out of retirement to fight, uh, you know, a cream puff. Uh, right. uh, it, it, 
Yeah, he's not, yeah exactly. He's not a, uh, you know, it. Conor McGregor to you and I is not uh, an easy fight, but to Floyd Mayweather, obviously, pretty, you know, this guy's freaking 50. No, he's, <laughs> there's a reason he's, he's uh, undefeated, so... Uh, he didn't have to look good. He knew exactly uh, what he had to put into it. He could go out to strip clubs and, and hang out uh, before the fight. Uh, why not? Uh, and he still, you know, he won. And he walked away, you know, a hell of a lot richer. And Connor is certainly richer. And I love all this talk about Connor's next fight. <laughs> if that's me, y'all can get fucked because we're not having another fight. It's 140 million bucks. Go beat somebody else's brains in. I heard he's going to race Michael Phelps next. I actually saw that on Facebook today. <laughs> the shark wants it. <laughs> Here's where I'm going to prove how, prove how much of a bro I am. So Conor McGregor, say he fights at, often fights at 145 pounds. Mm-hmm. Say he wasn't the greatest MMA fighter. Like, say he was an MMA fighter, but not the, the best. You know what I'm saying? Say he was just a, a, a guy. Hey. C- could I not kick his ass at 220? Like, could I not... <laughs> I mean, sure, there's a reason they have weight classes, truthfully, but right. this, so a trained fighter. Um, but, you know, it's, the, the long and short of it is that you can get in some skirmishes with some uh, some guys that are smaller than you and win, and you can get in some skirmishes with some pro fighters that are smaller than you, and you and I'd get our ass kicked. But mm. it is, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't really know. I guess I've been in fights with um, smaller guys. I've also been in a fight with a bigger guy, and the, the long and short of it is, uh, if he gets a hold of you, you know, that's kind of trouble. Uh, you, if you smush him, you know, you just play the ground and pound. Uh, but they're quick, these little fuckers. I'm going <laughs> Roman Reigns spear. I'm actually going to go and then <laughs> go right after him. Yeah, that's a great finisher, man. Roman Reigns, did, uh, did, did you watch the uh, the Monday Night Raw? I mean, that, the Monday Night Raw, that's like, that's all Twitter's uh, talking about. I guess uh, John Cena and Roman Reigns had a, like a barn burner. So good. So good. It was, I must have been 35 minutes long. At first I was like, I was like, oh, Jesus, another goddamn contract signing. Like, I'm so sick of contract signings. I, this is like the one thing I think isn't real about wrestling. <laughs> yeah, oh, it just doesn't pop off like that in the middle of the ring where you have a contract signing. Right. But they did this interview, and everything I've read is that it was actually a shoot, that they were actually legit went off script and went at each other. And Cena said some stuff that was, they both said true stuff, you know, but Roman Reigns with the, you're a part-timer, you're always burying guys, you got this golden shovel where you come in and bury new talent, and John Cena goes, you know, that's what people say, but they forget that when you took the U.S. title as a demotion, when you bitched and moaned about having to be have the U.S. title, I took it as an opportunity to bring out new talent every week. Kevin Owens comes on the show, U.S. title. AJ Styles comes on the show, U.S. title match. I use opportunity. He goes, you've, re- you've headlined the last two WrestleMania. He goes, I haven't headlined a WrestleMania in five years. He goes, I was on the pre-show at SummerSlam, and here you are telling me <laughs> I'm doing everything I want to do. You think that's what I want to do? And he's, that was good, and then he went, like, next level. He said, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, and he goes, yeah, I'm a part-timer, but I'm only a part-timer because you can't get the fucking job done. He goes, everybody told me you were the guy. You were the one dude who could keep up, and you can't. And since you can't do your job, I'm still here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Red hot heat. Red hot heat. I really need that card. I'll have to get that later, <laughs> but. Um, it was real, and everything. Melts, I think, said it was real, or some website that I click on and said it was real. And um, it, I think now I'm interested in this feud. It's one of the only times this has happened recently. Definitely. I mean, uh, you know, even if it's um, it, yeah, them shooting on on each other is, is great. Obviously, John Cena can work the mic like nobody's business, and there's no way Roman Reigns can keep up with John Cena on the mic. It's it's not going to happen. There's no way he's got decent in ring. Uh, he's got really good in ring skills, but uh, John Cena is obviously still the uh, the top dog in that company. Don't get it fucked up. Um, guy cuts a hell of a promo. Always has just uh, straight fire. And you know, I it's it's pretty great that after ten years he's still relevant. And, oh, yeah. and doing shit other than proposing to his uh, yeah, say in the ring and making every man in the stadium look bad that has his girlfriend there, which there weren't too many because really not too many used our bathroom. But um, <laughs> no, it didn't make me look bad that instead of bringing my girlfriend to WrestleMania that she brought bought me two tickets to, I brought this jabron over here. <laughs> it's jabron over here. That's a good new shirt. That's our newest shirt uh, on uh, for wrestling tees. This jabron here. Um, incidentally, you can buy some uh, of our shirts on Pro Wrestling Tees. 
if you want to look like uh, not a Jay Brown, you look like uh, super awesome uh, right there. Too sweet. Um, you can head over to Pro Wrestling Tees, Man Cave Podcast. Check them out. we got a Man Cave uh, uh, Vice, like a Miami Vice-style shirt. We got. What else do we have, Jeff? We got, um, we got the uh, Paps Blue Ribbon one and the John Deere one. I'm just going to fucking say it. <laughs> well, there goes a uh, cease and desist. <laughs> All good. Uh, really quickly, man, do you know, um, did you get into uh, any watch any of the Lucha Underground matches? I know you're not a big indie guy, but. I was going to, but then I had, no, I did not. Oh, good. Great. That was, uh, you know, I just had to take out the trash, too, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, do you, well, this gal, Sexy Star. Uh, sexy Star. Fucking alliteration. She's, um, she left wrestling. She went to, she already got a nuclear heat, as it is, for uh, some of the action she did. But um, on uh, Saturday, whatever night the fight was, Saturday, um, she, they had their, uh, their big event down at AAA. That's uh, Mexico's big wrestling promotion. Triple A. Uh, they have uh, Triple Mania. Triple Mania. And, um, <laughs> I'm right. Sounds, sounds like something we came up with. <laughs> that's, what, that's the best you guys got for your headline show of the year. Uh, okay, let's go. Um, the owner is a douche. Dorian's a super douche. But um, uh, Sexy Star was in a match with Rosemary from TNA. You may uh, know her, the, the demon assassin. And she, uh, she actually shot on her and uh, put her in an arm bar and didn't release when, um, when Rosemary tapped out. And Sexy Star pretty well uh, um, hurt the um, uh, elbow of uh, Rosemary for shoot. No lie. Just... Uh, and really was given some bullshit excuses instead of apologizing. So there's there's massive heat in the uh, indie world right now. Massive. You know, I, so I saw that tweeted. And I saw a sexy star hurts arm and shoot. And I was like, which sexy star was it? <laughs> it's like, this could have been anybody. Was it Maria Canales? Was it Alexa Bliss? Who was it? And then it is so vague these days. <laughs> Didn't know that. any any has that happened in WWE that you know of? Is there any good stories of like guys are like fuck this? I'm gonna hurt this guy. Yeah, there's actually a couple of uh, of times where uh, guys have have gone on to shoot uh, fights in the ring. I bet positively pro wrestling podcast could uh, could definitely fill us in, and probably Mark Russo too for that matter. But uh, yeah, that actually has has happened uh, more than once, and it used to happen way back when. Who was uh, who was good with that? Like Vern Gagne was was pretty good with that. Stan Hansen, I think, also was was one of those guys, and Arn Anderson was uh, really good about uh, putting guys into uh, actual like shoot moves. And can you be good. really good about being really bad? Is that the phrase? He the top heel. That guy's a mark for a heel. I mean, he is he is the benchmark for a, a heel, right? Arn Anderson sets the bar. He's a mark for a heel. All these terms, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, it's easy with the wrestling terms. I'll check that out. I saw a Twitter video of someone, you know, freaking out and. Uh, now I know what it is. I'll, I'll watch it this time. Exactly. Black, I mean, blacklisted. The, the girl is like not welcome in any locker room. She's losing bookings left and right. Just a, a complete, complete deal. It's, it's like a Colin Kaepernick situation. She's going to be disappearing faster than both our hairlines. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Put on a hat. Go bro here, guys. Should have gone bro. Should I go bro? Tweet me. Help me out. Jeff's going hat. I've got nothing. <laughs> oh, nice. There we go. <laughs> Dolphins hat? Are you, are you like on the Dolphins bandwagon? Oh, uh, this is a this is a golf hat. Oh, it's a green. It's a it's, it's, it's Irish green. It's, it's a Lucky oh. Shamrock brand. It's I have like eight of these hats. Oh, Irish. Oh, good. Black Clover. It's called. So I'm talking about Lucky Shamrock. Sorry. <laughs> Give a big shout out to a potential show sponsor. They will get your name wrong, but fuck it. We'll, we'll... <laughs> these are my favorite hats. Actually, I I want to share this knowledge with you guys. This is um. Black, black uh, shamrock there? It's called Black Clover, but this one's green. But I have, they come in all different colors. It's just this design. Big Simple. fan. Big fan. Black Clover, if you want to sponsor the show. Yep. Here's, it's so up since we're, uh, since we're plugging stuff. I'm drinking out of my favorite koozie today. I don't know if you guys can uh, see that right there. That's from uh, Master Bait and Tackle. So that's uh, you can't beat our bait. You guys get a chance to uh, get down to the southwest Florida Bonita Beach area. Got to pick up a koozie or a shirt from Master Bait and uh, Tackle. And I'm drinking Saranac Legacy. Okay, this is enough. <laughs> so we have a lot of show left, guys. Um, we have, um, I just think this chick's smoking hot. And I have a certain type, I know. And this is definitely there. But I think you'll all love Blake Morgan. Um, <clears throat> she is blonde, fun. I 
found her on Instagram. I started checking out her stories, and and lucky enough to get her on the show this week. So that interview is coming up next. Right after that, we have Man Cave Championship Wrestling, which is our own wrestling fiction, <clears throat> which we had a couple weeks off, uh, but we're back in action with that. we got a lot of good stories to tell. Uh, that is wrestling that we create on the spot. We, you guys submit your characters to us. We get it going, and we put a whole universe together. It's like if you could load in a video game, but where's the video game? So uh, really cool stuff. Sean, you're going to be good for a couple minutes. I'm going to do uh, what I always do, my brother, when you're talking to hot chicks. Um, which, you know, yeah, it's it's sad that we're on video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to milk a bunch of my uh, my neighbors. So that's, uh, that's great. Guys, come on in. Come on in. Uh, Jeff, you go talk to the hot chicks. I'll just be blowing strange guys. You'll be broing be- strange guys. <laughs> guys, let's play a little music. Let's bring on Blake Morgan. 